When I first came to Chatterjee, I was a little worried because new school, you're not really sure, is it gonna be one of those places where no one talks to each other, and you don't really connect with anybody. That kind of went away the first day I walked into class, I sat down next to someone, and they were probably the most animated character of person that I've met. Um, and since then, like every single person I meet, they all have this you know really great story for how they got to where they are and why are they going next. You know what are their dreams, what are their hopes. You just look around, you say you know hey what are you working on or how do you get to this step the teacher was talking about. And before you know it, it's a whole lot of <laughs> people helping you out, making jokes, or working on projects together. And I love that about the school. It's great. Chattahoochee Tech has really friendly and safe environment that I really love. I feel like the school is just very genuine. I like that most of our teachers do work in the real world and come here and teach so they know a little more inside of what we need to learn. You have everything that you need here to become a person that everyone would like to hire. Students have uh, a lot of options graduating in design and media, mainly because our program is set up as a cafeteria style. So if a student is interested in graphic design, maybe motion graphics, animation, photography, virtual reality, those are the kinds of skill sets employers are looking for. I really wanted to do the intro into photography and so I was very happy when he added the production photography as well to it. And I sincerely enjoyed learning so much more about my camera from both of these classes than I had ever known. The two photography classes that have been spectacular. I really enjoyed Stenselin's knowledge of the camera and his very in-depth lectures about the zone system. <laughs> teaching us about aperture and setting and white balance and just teaching us how to properly use our cameras. And then the different lessons that we had to do really were challenging in a wonderful way. Being a two-year program, we ha actually have a lot of advantages. We get right to the tech as opposed to in traditional four-year programs where there's most often a foundational year, which is very valuable, and there usually will be an extra year at the end for doing some sort of a thesis. But we pretty much do the mid stuff. We get you right into the tech uh, right away, start modeling, start building, editing photos, start working with vector graphics, start editing moving images, work with sound, compositing these elements. We don't have, in two years, a lot of time for the heavy theoretical. Certainly, there's a lot of value to that, and we do have introductory courses where we address the basics and some of the foundational design principles, but most of the learning is hands-on. I don't like to learn from books, I like to learn from experience, so that is the most important thing that I and biggest thing that I like here in Chattakuchi Tech. Here it's a lot of practical things. I love that I can actually learn anything by doing it, not just by watching some book or something. It's different when you learn from YouTube videos compared to when you actually are in front of people and when you can ask them certain things. That, so a lot of gaps that I had, I'm feeling with this school. So it's very big improvement compared to what I had before I came here. It's amazing. I never knew that you know, magazine, it's like magazine covers and like things that we read was used with like InDesign. So taking that class and combining Photoshop and Illustrator with InDesign, it was just like a huge eye opener. And the intro classes, they are like the fundamentals of what you need to know in order for your designs to be amazing. They teach you about what's good design and what's bad design. And I see the whole world differently now. It's mostly a project-based curriculum. There's not a lot of tests. The learning and the skills that are acquired are very hands-on and project-oriented. You learn to work with equipment, with software for a particular end. You learn to work with other creatives in group settings. And you get exposed to a lot of different kinds of problem solving in the visual arena that you don't come across very often in the K through 12 basic high school system. The best thing is you do learn hands-on stuff. So you're not just coming to sit in class and to twiddle your thumbs and wait for the professor to say this is going to be on your test. 
you're going, you're learning what you need to know. The welding sticker that I designed for the school, it's really cool to see that from Illustrator onto the printer and watching it print. It's just nice to see that something that you created on the computer is now physical and you can hold it and you can see it. It's really cool to know that our school allows us to do stuff like this. I do feel pretty confident in taking photos or even using Illustrator or using the big printer now that I know what I'm doing. One advantage of coming here is we have classes like in Photoshop and in Illustrator, and these last the whole semester. So you really get an opportunity to learn the software. That's important about a technical college. If you go to some universities, you might have a graphics class, which is Illustrator, Photoshop, and InDesign, all in one semester. All of the software that we use is all industry standard stuff. It's all Adobe Creative Cloud. Maya is, of course, industry standard. That's also taught in the program. Everything that you're learning here and the software that you're learning on is software that is being used right now in the industry. We're not using version six of Photoshop. It's very important for us that our students are trained on the latest and best software and hardware that there is out there. When I first started off, I was very intimidated by the programs. When you open them up, they look very sophisticated, a lot of options. Uh, you can easily get lost and just overwhelmed. You're learning so many programs, Illustrator, Photoshop, After Effects, Adobe Suites, Maya. Getting in though, you learn shortcuts. You learn what problems are, how to fix them. Students taught me stuff just as much as the professor sometimes. It's a pretty cool environment of friendly people, friendly teachers, and just a place of learning. Space is always at a premium at a technical college, but thanks to uh, our leadership, we set aside a room that actually works as a gallery, and we're filling it with students' work. So students and people from around the neighborhood are welcome to come in and take a look at photographs that the students have taken, maybe some graphic design projects. We also have six monitors that are constantly displaying motion graphics and animations and virtual realities. In the very back of the room, we have actually a HTC Vive where people can come in and walk around in a virtual reality environment, all produced by our students here at Chattahoochee. In the VR class, we are supposed to make a virtual environments that we can later put into Unity or any other engine and be able to put on a HTC Vive or Oculus. I got to actually go into and play with my very own game. It was very exciting. Got to actually see what I've created and it was a really fun experience for me. My friends and family members got to test out some of the things that I've created and they love it. It was very interesting to see their reactions and have them actually interact with these models that I've made. We are the best bang for the buck. And if you talk to employers that have hired our students, they'll say we're producing some of the best students in this industry, and they're paying a fraction of what they would pay to go to a four-year school like SCAD. And after hearing my friends go to other universities and telling me the projects they are doing, I was like, that doesn't seem like enough for the money. One of the biggest reasons why I came here uh, was price. Then I learned that it's very, very good with, uh, with uh, support and everything. Being a newlywed, Chattahoochee is actually a lot more affordable for me and my wife to go to school and work. They have a lot of grants such as the Pell Grant Hope. I qualify for the Pell Grant and that actually covered all my school this semester. A lot of the students may go on to attend a four-year program, but really we want them to be employment ready when they leave Chattahoochee Tech. They certainly have that option to go on to a four-year program. My feeling, and I think the other instructor's feelings are, it's not necessary. If you want to start working out of college, this is the program to be in. Many students that want to begin in the design and media production program at Mountain View campus have uh, all the talent, all the creativity to be able to start the program in design and media. Many are afraid that they're not going to be able to meet the math requirements. Design and media is actually one of the few programs that 
encourages students to start the program and maybe put off worrying about the math. Unfortunately, in order to get an associate's degree, students have to pass a college algebra class. However, design and media production is also offered in a diploma, which means that the math requirements aren't as severe. We provide free tutoring for math and English at every campus here at Chattahoochee Tech. There's also resources, periodicals, and books in the library that students can use to help enhance their studies. For students that uh, are in the program and maybe they're unsure as far as what classes they need to take, uh, faculty has provided what we call an EMAP. And in design and media production, there's an EMAP for students wanting the associate's degree, and there's also an EMAP for students wishing to have the diploma. This lays out the program of study and pretty much the order in which faculty would recommend you taking the classes. If you're trying to decide, you know, if Chattahoochee Tech's right for you, or, or maybe, you know, is art program in general right for you? The cool thing about Chattahoochee Tech is that you can just try it out, just test drive the field, see if it's going to be a good fit, and see, is this what I want to do for the rest of my life, or at least the foreseeable future? Now, if you love what you're doing, sure, continue your education, keep on building your resume, because that's what you need more than anything your portfolio, your resume, what you're gonna to show to people. Like be prepared to work. Don't think that it's an easy field or it's a, an easy A to get into because sure the assignments can net you easy A's as far as participation, but that's not what you're going for. Because every single class you need to think of it like, this is something I'm building that I'm gonna to show to someone one day in hopes of getting a job. So be passionate and be ready to put your mindset into it, your whole heart and soul really, because in the end, that's what matters, what you get out of it. And if you don't put anything into it, you know, it's the old like cliche saying, like you get out what you put in. It's entirely true about the school.